Listen, man, you guys wanted it, so I'm bringing it. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck you guys doing today? Listen, man, we're going to start off the video a little different, and we're going to lead off with the featured comment of the video, right? Because today's featured comment is going to be from two people. And it is a comment that both tie together and they both say that we need to build a team around Halucha. Now, I understand Halucha ain't been used since Gen 6 and Gen 7 with its normal gem fake out unburdened boost and yada, yada, yada. And I didn't think Halucha was that good until I built a team in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And I may have built the best Halucha team to actually run the UU tier. If you guys are hyped for today's live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle, you know what to do. Drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure that subscribe button so you don't miss more content for myself. Listen, man, right? YouTube is showing that 82% of people watching this video or previous videos aren't subscribed. So do me a solid, hit that subscribe button. I promise you will not regret it. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comments from below and be like Kay and Aaron and suggest a Pokemon or who do you think today's MVP is or I, there's gonna be a secret code word in the video. Comment that. Uh, if you guys did miss the last Wi Fi, there's gonna be a little iCard above me right there. Go ahead and check that out. And without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the best Halucha team that is in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone. How the heck you doing? And welcome back to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi Fi battle. Listen, man, I feel like I've been saying that lately, like, listen, man, but today we have another new Wi-Fi battle featuring a Hall Lucha team. I know that's been strongly suggested on the uh, on the channel lately, so you know what? We're going to build a team. So I'll get into the team in a little bit, but today uh, we're going to be battling Chris, who's a pretty insane team of uh, Water Tauros. He has the Rotom Heat. He has Gengar. He has the Bi Sharp. That's going to be a little scary. Uh, he does have the Galley, and he has a Don fan. Today I'm bringing Nacho Libre, the Hall Lucha. I'm bringing Spiky Boy, the Pin 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 Pinkerchin, Pinkerchin, Pinchurkin. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, but then we have Iron Jugglist, Iron Jugglist, obviously. We have Slugs, the um, Gastrodon. We do have Shukaku, the Tyranitar. Nice Naruto, one tail beast reference. And then we have Family, Vin Diesel, the uh, Mousehold. So uh, I'll kind of get into the team a little bit more, but honestly, let's go with the safe lead. Let's go with Slugs. Uh, Slugs can kind of wall the uh, Don fan and honestly just get rocks up here because it looks like rocks are going to be pretty huge, especially if that by sharp is holding a focus sash uh the don van if we can break the sturdy on that thing and then the rotom heat and then obviously that's going to be big so i'm going to click done and uh if you guys are here for today's live pokemon scarlet and violet wi-fi battle you know what to do drop a like on today's videos it is greatly appreciated make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from myself you guys have been killing it with the support lately and if we could keep that going that would be just fantastic right so this team right i built this team on the on the u letter it's been going stupid dumb right so this the uh, like the big thing around this team right is we have uh honestly the biggest key to this team is pinkerchin right just the reason why is because he has uh, if you guys don't like know him right he has the electric surge ability right and the electric surge is basically sets up the electric terrain and that's where halucha comes in because uh halucha is holding the electric seat so we can get that off we get our burden off we get one sword dance off boom i think game's over literally but then on top of that right we have iron jugglist who's holding a life board but the thing is, if the uh, electric surge is up, that means we get the speed boost. So, kind of tight. He's going to lead off with Don Fan. Not a bad time for us. So, you know what? I'm going to go for a Stealth Rock, even though he's probably going to go for a Rapid Spin. But that's fine, because honestly, we can just get the Chilling Water off. I should have took a picture of his team. I did not, because I'm irresponsible, man. I'm just irresponsible. Also, I got a new pair of shoes right there, and I need to get uh, a, a see-through case for him. They're so hype, man. They're like the, they're like the, uh, I think like the heritages, but they're like the smoke gray ones. Mm, delicious. Okay. I do think he's going to rapid spin here, so I'm going to get a chilling water off. He is going to rapid spin. Call that. The good thing is, is he's not getting a lot of damage off, but his speed is going to rise. A little scary, but that's fine. That is fine. And honestly, I'm not worried about the rocks just because the rocks are like the least of my worries. But the good thing is the attack is going to fall on this thing. And if I'm looking at it, he actually has a bunch of, he has a, bunch of uh physical attackers on his team holy moly wait a minute let me get a picture of his team right i need that i need that i need the big team also uh like i said if you guys are hyped drop a like it's greatly appreciated and last but not least leave a comment in the comments from below right be like my boys whoever was the featured comment of today i'm not too sure but let's go ahead and get a picture of his team real quick i am a distracted jerry today man. okay 
Yeah, see, the thing is, if we keep hitting him with these chilled waters, bro, we're fantastic right now. I'm just going to keep going for the chilled water, man. He is going to Earthquake here. That should... Uh, it does a decent chunk, but the good thing is we can get a recover off because the next one's not going to do a lot, honestly. The next one's not going to do a lot. I will say that indeed. And the good thing is, is he doesn't really have a lot to switch in on... Uh, actually, do I kill here? Do I kill here, actually, the thing is? Because I could kill it here, or I can get my stealth rocks up, but I feel like it's not going to really help me out. Um, Let's go for a chilling water. Let's just take this thing out. He, I feel like he's going to switch. If anything, I maybe feel like he's going to switch into the Tauros. No, he's actually just going to stay in. All right, so he's going to just preserve this thing. That is fine. Now, unfortunately... I guess not really unfortunately for us, but we don't really get our rocks up, which kind of stinks, but that's fine, honestly. The only bad thing is his Iron Jugglers is going to take like 25% health, so not great for us. But uh, we're not sitting too bad. Or Halucha. Ew, I kind of just thought about that. Okay, he is going to switch into Gengar here. That is A-OK -okay for me. Uh, crap, what do I actually just go into? Um, I could predict a Shadow Ball. I feel like that'd probably be his, like, stab best move. I could go into that and go into Family, but I feel like that's not really gonna benefit me. I could go into Shukaku. Uh, but if this thing has Focus Blast, I'm not really sitting too well, so... Um, oh, but this thing does wall. This thing does wall the, uh... The Rotom Heat. Hmm... Okay, let's go into let's go into Shukaku. Let's go into Shukaku, uh, and then we can obviously get the Sand Stream up, and then break a Focus Sash if this thing is sashed. Honestly, unfortunately, Shukaku doesn't do a lot of work this battle, so not the best for us. But we do kick up the Sand Stream, so that is going to hit this thing uh, at least decent. He is going to Shadow Ball here. Damn, that would have been a good switch if we went in, if we would have went into Mouse Hole. That would have been such a good switch. The good thing is, right, is Shuk or Shukaku is banded. So this crunch is going to hit whatever. Actually, do I stone edge or do I crunch? Because actually, stone edge hits everything hard, too. Because the thing is, if I go for an earthquake here, he could switch into Rotom Mo. Um, but I don't really want to... Stab... I'm, I'm, like, leaning towards stab crunch or, or stab stone edge. I'm going to stone edge here. He is going to withdraw Gengar. Please go Rotom Heat. Please go Rotom Heat. Please go Rotom Heat. Tauros. Ah, he's going to get the Intimidate off. That's not a bad play, though. Either way, we're going to get some big damage off on something. Uh, the good thing is here is I think it would be a good time, honestly. I think now would be a really good time to send in Pinchurin. And the good thing is we're going to whittle this thing down with a little bit of damage. So, you know what, Pinchurin? It's your time, buddy. It's your time. Now, the good thing about Pinchurin is he's defensive. He's a defensive boy, and he's going to set up the terrain for us. Now, we're going to get eight turns of terrain. And honestly, boy, if I get that up, man, Halucha's looking a little scary. I'm not going to lie. And the good thing is, is we're going to get the electric seed off, so we're going to get that defensive boost. And that means I don't think a sucker punch is going to take us out. So look at that. That's not doing anything to us. That is not doing anything to us. Now, the thing is, is do I parting shot here? Or do I T-Wave? Or I could get Spikes up. I could get Spikes up. I'm going to get Spikes up. I feel like Spikes up would be a good play. Getting Spike up, that way if, if the if the uh, Buy Sharp is Focus Sashed, we're at least breaking that. Like I, like, I think my biggest thing is I want to break the Focus Sash, so Halucha just has a clean sweep on everything. I think that's my play. And honestly, the, and what I can do is, like, let's say he switches out and, like, goes into, like, Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat, obviously, is going to have to either go for, I think, a, a Overheat, which is going to lower its special attack. Like, I think I'm sitting really good, honestly. See, he's going to withdraw Tauros. Who does he go into? By Sharp. That's actually not a bad play for us. That's not a bad play. Because the good thing is, is if he wants a Swords Dance, I can at least get off... If he wants to do that, I can at least get off a, um... Oh, wait, why didn't I get a... Did I... Did I miss something? Why didn't my Thunder Wave go off? I just literally missed it. I don't know. All right, well, either way, let's get a Memento off. 
He is going to Swords Dance here. Ooh, we called that one, buddy. We called that one. Now, my question is here. My question is... <gasps> Defiant! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh dude, that's bad. That's bad for us. Oh dude, okay. Mmm. That's a little scary, actually. This thing's plus four. Okay. Let's go into Nacho Libre. We're gonna have to... I don't want to Terra, though. That's the thing, is I don't want to Terra. I don't want to Terra. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous, man. Wait a minute. Why did I parting shot on this thing? I forgot about Defiant. Oh, my gosh. I'm a little moron, bruh. Okay. Well, the thing is, unfortunately, is we're going to have to Drain Punch here. And the thing is, I don't have any priority on my team. So we're just going to have to pray and hope that we live a Sucker Punch. I do have a Defense Boost. But I don't know if that Defense Boost is going to be enough. Alright, we're going to Terrasilize here. Oh, dude. I'm dummy. I'm literally a dummy. I think we'll be okay, though. I think we'll be okay as long as we live. He is going to Sucker Punch here. We do live. Okay, cool. Perfect. And the good thing is that Sucker Punch, we're going to get more uh, health back. Oh, he's not even... Oh, my... Oh, wait a minute. Is this our time to shine? Is this our time? Oh, dude. Is this our time? Is this... Our, I didn't... I expect that thing to be... Oh, my gosh, dude. That got scary. That got scary so fast. Oh, brother. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I almost just went into a coma. I got so scared. Well, the good thing is we are fast here. The other good part about it is he doesn't, unless he goes into Rotom Mo, which he's going to go for that, which is... He's going to go... Ah, oh, man. Well, the thing is I don't see this thing having a lot to take us on. So, honestly, I'm just going to Swords Dance here. I'm going to Swords Dance here. Because the thing is, is even if I even if I die here with Hawlucha, that's fine because I still have Iron Juggles in the back who can get the boost. I did have booster energy on that thing, but I realized that I wasn't really benefiting myself with having a booster energy on top of the electric terrain. I mean, I was fast, but like, I wasn't really doing a lot. Okay. Does he have wild charge? Actually, what does he have that can take us on? Because we do have a defense boost. Look at that. Easy. Oh my gosh. I think we're getting the sweep here. I think we're getting the sweep. Dude, electric seed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did we get it to work? I'd be so... I'd be a happy little camper. I'd be a happy little camper. I think his best bet is to let this thing live and try to keep intimidating me. Now, the good thing is, right, the good thing is, is we still have... We still have Hydra... Or not Hydra, I'm an Iron Jugulus in the back who's pretty fast. Only thing is, I don't know if I'm outspeeding the Gengar. Did we kill the Gengar? I think he, I think he switched out the Gengar. Okay, acrobatics, taking this thing on. Let's go. Um, hopefully, uh, the Rotom Heat is going to be a little scary. The Rotom Heat's just the only thing that's scaring me right now. Rotom Heat's a little scary. He's going to go back into Gengar. We can outspeed Gengar. We're not worried about Gengar. Now, the only thing is, is he's going to take out my acrobatic. Or he's going to, he'll probably curse body my acrobatics, but that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, Curse Body comes through. Okay. Now this gives him a chance to go into either the the Bi Sharp, or not the Bi Sharp, excuse me, but the uh the Gallade, or he can go into the Rotom Heat. He's gonna go into Rotom. Which is fine because I'm gonna drain punch here, and that's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Now the question is, is does this thing live it? I'm pretty sure he does, but thing is another thing is can we live the Can we live the overheat if he goes for it. Which is fine, because then we can just go straight into something else. He's gonna Volt Switch. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder if he's trying to put me into Shadow Sneak range. 
But on top of that, I don't think Shadow Sneak takes this out. Dude, Halucha's looking kind of clean. Halucha kind of looking clean. All right, now... Uh, the good thing is we are hitting the single to spikes at least. So, unfortunately, the electric train's going to go away, so... Oh, acrobatic. Okay, I thought I was I thought it was through. Um, I'm gonna drain punch here. It's not gonna do crazy amount, but at least it'll get us health back to where we can at least get a uh, acrobatics off again. Dude, did we get a hall leech or hall leech sweep? This is my intention with this team. This team is exactly how I wanted it to work out. Now the thing is, I don't have any stealth rock removal on this team. Okay, so it's gonna do a good chunk. Oh wait a minute, does he? He probably has psycho cut, doesn't he? He probably has psycho cut. Yeah, yeah, Psycho Cut. Okay, that's going to take us out. Yeah, that's going to take us out. Either way, Halucha did his job. That's all I care about because now we just have Iron Jugulus in the back who can pretty much just take everything on. So, not super worried about it. And it's Life Orb. So, Iron Jugulus, you're coming out. You're looking uh, handsome as ever. Ooh, but I'm a little scared of that Hurricane Mist because if that Hurricane Mist actually comes through... If that hurricane miss kind of comes through, I might be a little screwed. Mm, I'm a little nervous now, but you know what? On the Cypher BLK, or the Cypher BLK channel, listen, this is what we do, right? We take chances and we let the RNG play in our favor or we don't. That's what happens. So you know what? Hurricane is fine. Hurricane's coming through. Wait a minute. Does, wait, did he use to, did he have his translation yet? No, we did not. But the good thing is, is we do land the Hurricane, which is perfect because then we can just land a Dark Pulse on the Rotom Heat and then that should be a huge chance. Oh my gosh, dude, I finally got, like, this is my first time using the team on Wi-Fi and it worked out perfectly. I don't think a lot of people expect the Electric Seed um, pin, uh, pin Kirchin, honestly. So, Dark Pulse for the win. Do we have speed? Maybe this thing's Scarf? I don't know. Maybe he has Volt Switch. His Volt Switch is out. He tricks us! What did you do? Well, I went for a Dark Pulse. Yeah, I got the charge. Now, now I for sure win. <laughs> now I just for sure win. All right, well, either ways, uh, who was it again? Oh, Hallucha. I don't know why I was saying it. So, uh, either way, Chris GG's, my mans. Uh, if Chris has any links, I will be sure to put them in the description below. Uh, today was a really fun Wi Fi battle. So, if you guys do want to have a code for this team, there is going to be a code in the description below. Go check it out. Rental code for it. Um, honestly, yeah, I think this is one of my favorite teams that I've built because the synergy is so good. Like I said, we are a little weak, weak to fighting type, but honestly, I think we can buffer that out if we get the. Um, the spiky boy Pinkurchin and the Iron Jugulus to work out a little bit better, or we get Halucha up with the acrobatics. So I think honestly, having the fighting type weakness, we actually work out pretty well with this. So if you guys did enjoy today's live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle, you know what to do. Drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. And make sure that the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from myself. Like I said, we are on the road to 2,500 subscribers. So if you guys could do me a solid, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I promise you will not regret it. And last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section below. And the, uh, let's see, the, you know what, the secret code word roll call is going to be Halucha is a menace. That's going to be uh, the secret code word. Put that in the, or the comments below and uh, I'll give you a nice little kiss. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for the next Wi-Fi battle. So please have yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.